Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the uglier. So guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I'm assuming that you have clicked on this video because you are looking for ways to be better defensively. Um, and I can tell you that playing Madden for over 25 plus years, uh, the game has evolved a lot, but some of the some, some of the strategies that have been in Madden Pass carry over to this version of Madden 2, and you can actually leverage these things uh, to be better defensively. Um, I'm going to actually talk about a couple different concepts to, to help you be more effective in Madden on defense, uh, one of which is going to be the show concept. Another one is going to be, uh, is going to be a, a rolling safety blitz um, and actually showing your opponent a different defense. Now, a lot of the good Madden players that play online, a lot of the pro players uh, will disguise their defensive coverages. Uh, so in other words, they will give their opponent one look and actually have something completely different on the back end of it. Um, so it, the, 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 his opponent, when he's playing against them at a competitive level, they have to read the defense post-snap opposed to, to pre-snap. Um, you, the, one of the things you can tell when you're playing someone that really doesn't have a lot of experience in the game is they're going to run a vanilla defense. What I mean by that is they're going to run a stock defense. Uh, they're not going to make any kind of adjustments to, to disguise their defense. They're not going to do any kind of hybrid adjustments to, to disguise their defense. And uh, a, a tenured, um, knowledgeable Madden player will basically shred you uh, if you run a stock defense. So the first thing I can suggest to you is that never run a stock defense if you're playing online. You don't want to do that. Um, because your opponent is going to have an, an advantage if they know what they're doing uh, to be able to read your defense and know how to dissect it, especially in pass plays. So I want to talk about, uh, first and foremost, uh, the show uh, defense. Okay, so uh, when, you're in a, when you're in a defensive formation, so we're going to take a look at the nickel formation, I want to show you a couple of defenses that are, are unique uh, to the game. So um, what it is is essentially it's the, the CPU or the computer, the game is actually modeling this defense to be uh, a different look than what it should be. Uh, it's going to show you something um, before the snap, and then it's actually after the snap. It's going to uh, it's going to um, show you a totally different defense. So it's it, it's the way the uh, way Madden with the play call selection actually disguises his defense, and it's the, the show defense. So uh, right here. Uh, a basic defense that a lot of players use in line is essentially is a cover two defense. So uh, let's just go and take a look at this defense, the cover two sink. Very common defense, uh, It's or Tampa two. Uh, you're going to have a two high safety shell. You're going to have defensive backs that come down and play the flats. Now, what a lot of Madden players will do is they'll actually go ahead and uh, make adjustments on their defense. So uh, the so their, their opponent actually has to go ahead and read the defense correctly uh, to determine if it's going to be an area they're going to go with. So I'm just going to go ahead and make some adjustments real quick. And I'm just going to come out of basically a cover two coverage. Or actually, I'm going to come out of, um, uh, yeah, let's go to cover two and go from there. Now, I'm just planning it to CPU, but I just want to basically show you. Take a look at this defense right now. Um, you've got uh, two high safeties. Safeties are spread out pretty far outside of the tackles. Um, they're playing deep zones. We've got soft squats off the left. We've got basically hook zones right here. So typically what most Madden players are, they're going to see this particular shell. They're going to say, okay, this is a cover two shell. We're going to go ahead and either run the ball or we're going to go ahead and pass the ball and try to expose that. Now with a show defense, basically what you can do is you can actually go ahead um, and give your opponent essentially the same look as what they're seeing previously. So you can see right here, even though I audibled into this, it's a very slight change on the audible, but look at the, the look is still pretty much the same. But now the difference now is that the coverage is completely different as the previous play. So uh, for instance, right here, you can see this guy actually gets carried. This, this is a flat guy right here. This is a, a basically a, a, a half, but on the back side is completely different. This is a bunch of matching concepts. So most players will assume that this guy is going to play flat, but you can see he actually follows this defender, uh, follows this wide receiver. This defender actually follows him, and that actually is man matching principles. This guy should just be falling back into his zone, but um, in this type of situation, he follows. Let's just go back to a base cover two and show you why this is going to mess up your opponent if he's seeing the same type of a coverage. So we got a cover two. And let's go ahead and see what the coverage is like. 
And in this type of situation, these guys drop back in the zones, opposed to following the guys previously because of that cover nine show two look. So instead of this guy following, look, he just drops back into a zone. This guy doesn't follow his receiver. He should follow his receiver, but he doesn't. He drops back into a flat zone um, or a cloud flat zone, and essentially it messes up your opponent's reads. So what a lot of players will do is they'll leverage these type of shells um, when they play online. They'll use these show two uh, type shell uh, shells to, to kind of really mess up their opponent a little bit because they won't be expecting this type of stuff. So we had a blitz right there, but it was actually a cover three shell. You know, he's expecting these guys to jut out uh, into a cover two shell. But what happens, this guy shoots up into a cover three. He shoots up into, into a deep cover three. And he plays a hook zone right here to go ahead and take away um, any guy that's going over the middle. So I have just basically went ahead and showed my opponent three, like uh, basically one look. But I had basically four different types of coverages that he's got to defend against with matching principles and all that type of stuff by using the show defense. Now I'm going to show you a particular play, a great play in particular that's good uh, against uh, against people, and you can bait a lot of interceptions with this particular show defense. Now a great play to go ahead and use uh, is a cover two show four. So cover two show four is a great play to go ahead and use against your opponent. Uh, especially if you like using cover four. Cover four right now is one of the better defenses because it actually provides really good run support. And then you can use this cover four palms uh, as your base uh, play. So you got basically a cover four palms right here. And this whole thing has a lot of matching principles. And a lot of times people will actually uh, they'll, they'll get messed up with it. But what's cool about having a show defense is that you can actually flip into a show defense really quick. And even though the tell is maybe real subtle, you can actually go ahead and use this guy right here. Now these guys jump, jump into to zones, and that's going to mess up your person's reads because he's expecting a lot of matching principles and they jump back. But you're not really giving your opponent any kind of a tell whatsoever. So um, <clears throat> I would say probably just a, a good way to go and mess your opponent up is actually have a defensive set where you have show defenses, where you have uh, show cover two or show cover four. This is going to mess up your opponent's reads. He's not going to be used to um, seeing this type of stuff. And I, I with this, I could tell you this cover four, sh this cover two show four is actually a way of actually beating a lot of opponents. Uh, or actually uh, basically baited them into throwing bad passes because they'll say for instance start uh, with me using palms they'll use a lot of out routes or whatever and when I switch into this uh, cover two show four this guy will be down uh, to play the sideline it'll actually pick him off for a big play so it's a good thing to have in your back pocket let's talk about another method that I use uh, to disguise my coverages and this is something I've had a subscriber and some patrons ask about and I wanted to show you how simple it is to do this uh, and it really will mess up your opponent's reads now uh, what I like to do when I play defense is I like to show my opponent a cover three shell and I'll do so by actually using um, a safety blitz or some kind of a safety roll type defense. So you can see right here safety strong three uh, where the safety will actually come down into the box. Um, so I'm going to actually use this in this particular play right here uh, is going to be that safety strong three. All right, so you can see the safety actually come down like this into this box. Now here's a trick that I want to show you. You can audible into any kind of coverage right now and that safety still comes down in the box and this is going to mess up your opponent's reads. He's going to assume um, that uh, basically that, that it's going to be a cover three shell, but now you actually jumped into a cover six. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to go into jump into a cover four. Slight little adjustment, not real major, but now this is a cover two shell. And you can see these guys actually come, jump into a cover two, and that's going to mess up your opponent's reads. Same thing like this. I'm showing cover three, but now I'm going to go ahead and blitz the house against my opponent. And sometimes you need to base a line. If you base a line, this is actually going to go ahead and get these guys down to the box. And you can see this is going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and mess up your opponent's reads. Trust me, if I'm getting the quarterback right now to actually scramble out, that means the quarterback is not reading the defense correctly. And I'm going to be waiting on defense because he can't make good decisions and good reads. So this is a strategy that I use. Um, I use it in conjunction with other types of defenses, but I'll actually use this type of a, a um, rolling defense where I'll bring the safety back down like this. 
and then I'll just quickly jump into another defense and my opponent won't know I made that change. So if you base align your defense, um, you basically go ahead um, and just switch up your defense. You just make a quick snap or switch uh, right before the play is set. Uh, this is going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and uh, get uh, just, it's just really going to mess your opponent up uh, a lot because he's just not going to know where to go with the ball. So you can see right now he's, he's seen, my, my opponent's seeing a cover three shell, but I've got basically a cover two uh, on the back side of this. I got the one safety popping up. I got another safety going to the other side. And this is just going to mess up his reads and he's going to have to check down or, or go another area with the field. So, um, guys, uh, if, you if you don't disguise your coverage, I can tell you first and foremost, it's probably one of the most important things that you learn how to do. Disguise your coverage. Use um, some type of other base coverage, uh, and then if you want to just start experimenting with it, I would start using the show two def uh, show two different types of coverages. Uh, that actually will give you a, a competitive advantage. If you're a cover four person, I'd run cover four, and then you you want to go and occasionally jump into that cover two, uh, show four, uh, show four defense. You can get a lot of interceptions from that because people will be attacking the sidelines and will throw into your uh, throw into your defenders. So if you do like these type of tips, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button, and I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive tips to take your game to the next level. So once again, thank you for your support, and until next time.